How's it going? Are you with them? With those guys? Yeah. No. No, those are the, uh, the really serious guys, if you can't tell. <laughs> That's my crew right there, yeah. You're just throwing balls around? Yeah, we're just a couple levels below that one. Yeah. Number 14 looks really serious. <laughs> Yeah, they are. <laughs> he's like he's like eight. <laughs> <laughs> well, sweater, he's, he's sweater, still, sweater he's is still way better too. than all of us. <laughs> yeah, we were there. we were down here a few weeks ago, and there were some guys there who had like full on catches. Really? Yeah, yeah, they were. And they, they were doing these signs where they go like. <laughs> oh, with the pitching, yeah. <laughs> no, not yeah. a clue. Yeah, we're. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You're not like that. Not like yeah, you're welcome to join if you want. It's very casual. Okay. We're just having a wander around, I think. Well, okay, yeah. let's do it. No. <laughs> you can stay, we'll go. Alright, you got a glove? It's gonna be fun. Uh, yeah, one of them does, I think. Okay. Well, we'll yeah. see you. Alright, yeah. take it easy. Take care. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what up? What's up? How are you? I'm really good now that I that I, I got you. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. What's going on? What are you doing? Oh, I just came to drop off some mason jars. How about you? Cool. Uh, I'm cleaning this thing out. I really want to start using it. These drawers are huge. I know. It's pretty amazing. Uh, but they're full of all this old stuff, so I just. Cool. Cleaning it out, and then there's like, there's cool stuff. Like this, this was the building in 1986. That's awesome. This is a stained glass company, which will do custom stained glass. Oh, that's really cool. This is a pancake supper from the Dad's Club. Yeah, absolutely. Can I have this? Yes, it's yours. Awesome. Thanks. Really cool. Sweet. Um, anyway, I just, Ben cooked breakfast, so I was thinking of oh. stay if you want to come up. Uh, mm, I'll be up in a little bit. I do, I want to finish this. I'm almost done with this. Oh, trip. yeah. Well, just so you know, it's a, it's a hot breakfast, so you might want to come now. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's like cheesy eggs, pancakes, 
like stuff that's only good warm. Yeah. Stuff that doesn't stay warm for too long. I I really want to I gotta do this. Yeah, I totally totally understand. But this stuff's not going anywhere. Yeah, I don't want to do this anymore. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, do you think it was a toilet? That's what I don't understand. Don't you have like, a, don't you have like an interview or something? That you're wait, wait, wait. Right now? Yeah. Does your mom have any cats? No. No cat. It was exactly a day. Don't you have that? Uh, I do. I yeah. have to go. You got to go, I think. No, I don't want you to go. I, she's got a, so she's got a big interview. I think it's time for you. Yeah, I do. I got to go. Peace out, folks. Where do you go? Babysitting interview. Really? You have that daddy cake. <laughs> 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 Sorry. How do they interview yeah. you? Do you yeah, is it a trial babysit? Yeah, basically they like you come in and you meet their kid and you like play a couple games. Like, oh, she's not you crazy. You just like, pretend to be not interested in the parents. Are you ready? To be yeah, I'm like you grab prepared? some Barbies or something. I don't know. What's whatever they have there. You ever, you ever, uh, you ever pick up a kid and swing them around? That's fun, right? Maybe not at the <laughs> interview. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, not at the interview. That's uh, so. At what level is that? Is that like or show them the like, babysitting? Like or show them the infirmary? The kids. Yeah, we get. Do you want to show the infirmary? Don't do that. I don't know. You gotta show this to the kids. No, don't show do this. The kids. Do you like? Do you like acrobats? I love acrobats. Who <laughs> doesn't like acrobats? Don't. Yeah. That the one kid. Maybe you don't do this with the kids. Oh. You ready?
hostile about this, hey. it means that it struck a chord with you. Hey. Maybe How's I'm insecure, that? but yeah. I don't think it's yeah. a good idea. Hey. Sophia, that? how are you? What's up, man? Good to see you again, sir. Good to see you. Um, I'm glad you guys are here. I was feeling a little bit like the guy that first figured out the Earth was round, uh -huh. <laughs> and nobody was like uh -huh. in on that. Uh -huh. So the guy. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. That's why that's Where nobody knows anything. From, man. I picked him up for the tour that was coming through. Okay. Uh, how much? Listen. How much was it all? Fifteen bucks. It's really cheap. Right? Listen. Yeah. We're gonna corner off. Or not? We won't even corner off. We'll do it like in that room, mm -hmm. and it's gonna be like a poetry club type setting. Dim lights. It's gonna be nice. Wait. This is a bassist. This is your idea. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is your poetry club idea? <laughs> it's not a poetry club, but I was likening the atmosphere to a Don't poetry worry, club. That's, uh, what it is, is it's, it's basically like an open mic. Your name is drawn out of a hat if uh -huh. you put it there when you come in. Uh -huh. And you go up on stage and basically, instead of performing or doing anything, uh -huh. you're just opening yourselves up, yourself up for questions from the audience uh -huh. of any nature. Uh -huh. uh, well, uh, no matter how... Quality responses, because unless you have it in an intimate environment, like yeah. nobody's going to be yeah. able Rob, to Rob, Rob, to this, Rob. Rob, this is the first idea. I've been friends with this guy a long time. This is the first idea I've ever heard from him that didn't involve huffing paint thinner and diving in a shark tank <laughs> on a skateboard. I mean, that sounds a lot mean? better. Maybe like, we should stick with what like, he knows, you know? Don't I listen. think <laughs> that... I think it's awesome. <laughs> okay. You're a smack talker. You're a goof talker. What do you think? I, I, I like the idea. Promise? This, this idea you. represents yeah. the downfall of America. No, I think this idea represents uh, hope for America. I think your attitude represents yeah, the downfall. Yeah, your attitude does represent I just, the downfall. I just think yes. that people aren't like taking the yeah, time how many, to like, how many How many snacks do you need to have on you at, at one time? Like, let's keep it to a beer and a cookie at a time, OK? <laughs> and just, thanks again okay. for the beer. Yeah, of course. <laughs> one, two, three, go. Are you really middle like procedure? Split it at the patties. Okay. Uh, we got cheese in there. Oh man. It's good. It's ooey gooey. Oh man. <laughs> Split it at the patties. <laughs> so just, just, just drop just it on. Just the chicken, right? No, the whole thing? You just drop it on. Alright. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that wasn't the way there was so much bread. Right. Yeah, it's actually like super high carb. Like. <laughs> so you got the mayonnaise. Do we take any of the less? Oh, you know, you take the whole. Wait, you take the whole. You yeah, take that's the whole what I'm thing, saying, man. <laughs> it's high carb. The whole thing. Okay. Yeah, it's Yo, also it's all right. with large. All right. Like mouth openings. I heard about a kid in Kansas City dislocated <laughs> his jaw. 
Seriously? <laughs> no. <laughs> but like, <laughs> I could see it happen. <laughs> yeah, I was like deciding where to go and like if what I was looking for, where if I was gonna find it, and I decided like based on what I read, I decided to come here. So I just wondered if you did the same thing. No. No. That's cool. I mean, I, a lot of I feel like a lot of people do that. Read books? <laughs> no, like they, I mean, feel like they need to do research about a place. I mean, yeah, of course. It's good to know things, but like. I mean, you must a, have. This is a fine place to live, you know? Yeah, but like you're coming here for, I don't know, it's fine. It's no big deal. I mean, we found the space, and then. But like, what made you even decide to look here? I knew that there was affordable space here. And then we found this and it was like something out of our wildest dreams. So we're like, yeah, this, this is it, we're going. Word. Yeah. Plus like mad about some music. Yeah, there's good music. <laughs> yeah. Good music scene. What are you up to? Um Re I'm writing some grant proposals. Oh, cool. I'm just making sure we are eligible for some of these. Awesome. It's so awesome. It's really awesome. It's a lot of fun.
like totally psyched on it and you know was saying you know I'd love to show you guys I'd love to come build one here we could combine resources a little bit and make it happen he would teach us and I mean it's it's the kind of thing where like you know we start we with one but we could have multiple ones you know yeah we could we could oh my gosh I'm saying I'm, dude that field next door yeah domes dude, domes, 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 domes domes yo dome central domes, dome domes, city domiciles domes yeah domes Dome Brothers. Dome Brothers. Brothers and Domes. That's perfect. Yeah, so I'm going to call them tomorrow. We're going to set it up. Oh, my gosh, man. We need more engineers on this. No, man. We could, it's not... The way he described it, like, he, he needs to show us, you know, about the structure. And then it's like Biodome. It, you know? It's like the movie Biodome. Uh -huh. <laughs> we could do that. I mean, not as big, maybe. Maybe as big. But, yeah, if we had a dome, it would just be... Uh, Burrs and Domes. That was going to be the name of yeah. Biodome before. Uh -huh. Dude, Burrs and Domes. Dome. I see it. Oh, man. That changed my whole mind. I was thinking square. <laughs> and now I'm thinking circle uh -huh. with triangles. Cool, man. I'm going to call him tomorrow. We're going to do it. Domes. We're not gonna just hang out in the domes, though, right? No, man. I mean, if you're gonna build the dome, you gotta be serious. Yeah. We gotta. I've seen them on the internet. There's like I saw fish. They have like fish tanks in them, uh -huh. and like little fountains. Yeah. And like it was snowing. Cool. And people were just walking in this dome. It was like an oasis. Uh -huh. You know, that's what we need, an oasis. You know, we need more oasi. Uh -huh. Oasises. In places where that need oasises. Yeah. <laughs> because, yeah, dude, we need more oasises. Hello, friend. I see we're having an issue right now. <laughs> That's really cheesy. I know. I'd like it if we could both count to ten and come back to the subject. That's actually worked for me in a couple bar fights. Really? No. <laughs> but I'm sorry. Go on. Um, no, just like so. I remember like we practiced on like different. Like we went down the line and like faked conflict. And I was really proud. I like got it, and I was like, oh, this is so cool. I know how to resolve conflicts. I'm a grown up. Wow. And that was a really big deal. I felt like a mature adult. Yeah. And so I went home, and I got in, and my mom, I told my mom, I asked my mom if I, she would let me borrow, like, a red shirt to wear for school on Valentine's Day. And she wouldn't. Very reasonable. She wouldn't let me. I was like, this is ridiculous. So we got into, like, a super big argument. And then I, like, remember having this weird moment of clarity where I was like, oh, this is a conflict. This would be a great time to use this conflict resolution. I'm a grown-up. She'll certainly appreciate this. <laughs> and so I said to her, Mom, I understand that we're having an issue right now, but I think if we both counted to 10, <laughs> then this would resolve itself a lot more easily. Did she buy it? And she just stood there for a second, like, and I was like, oh, she's proud of me, she's proud of me. She was just like, no way. We are not going to stop talking about this right now. Wow. And I got so mad, and I ran out of the room. And I just, like, remember being like, I'm going to write down 
this was like a parenting mistake that my mom made. This was like the first time I could identify like that was the wrong decision to make as a mom. And I was like, I'm gonna write down every single thing that my mom does wrong from now on so that I never ever do that for my kids. the space you know not not so much just this tight like strictly you know exhibits you know we we'll do movie nights cool you know that's better in the spring and summer but um we'll do like film viewings and and have bands in here and and once in a while we do dance parties but sometimes those you know create a little too much ruckus yeah and i wouldn't want to bring that here. Yeah. Well, the problem is it's so open to the rest of the building, you know, there's like five right. floors for people to wander off. To. Yeah. How much are, are all, is all the building kind of spoken for? Um, no, there's a lot of open space, but, um, like in this, in this building, in this area, and then like around the corner and then like kitty corner yeah. from here, those are mainly that all the spaces that are filled, like where, where you guys, where the parking lot is that whole row down um, is actually closed off and, and pretty blown out. So um, there are sections in here that are like not even being used because they're just not uh, maintained yet. I'm sure they're gonna like maybe get to a point where they'll renovate. Uh, I'm sure they will in the next few years. Yeah, so, but yeah, it was, we were lucky enough to get in this space though before it kind of became this like almost like streamlined place for artists right, right, you know, right, right, like right. before they were like selling it yeah. to artists you know like hey yeah you know and making they started like actually building out spaces and stuff like when we got in it was just open and then we had to just start yeah creating our walls which i'm glad about you know because we got way more space and at a cheaper rate like yeah. I, i'm pretty sure they're selling smaller spaces for for fairly expensive now yeah because of you know because of, of us coming in probably and a few other people here for sure that brought attention to this area for sure yeah. so
But do you think it, it will give you a little bit of time? I mean, if you say it, it, it sounds like a, it's, a, it's like an open end. Very much so, yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe this will give you time to think about. So maybe you have enough time to think about what is going to be the next step mm -hmm. down the road. It doesn't have to be immediately, you know. I understand you need a, you need a time and God knows what. Mm -hmm. But uh, it doesn't hurt. You think it will be feasible? Though there will be a next step. But... Uh, I have no idea what it'll be like. I'm not sure that, you know, um, I'm not sure that in the kind of thing that I'm doing at the church and in this kind of work, I've, I've found something that I've, I'm now set the trajectory of my life in, in that direction and in, in work related to that sort of thing. I mean, I, Maybe I'll do something totally different, you know? Law, law school. I mean, no, no, I'm not, obviously I don't think I'm going to law school or anything, but like, I don't know. I'm keeping Interesting, yeah. it open. Well, I, I think you will make the right decision when the time comes. And I, it's, you know, it's, it's just good to think about it, you know, and it doesn't have to be like, an immediate action or immediate decision. Just of course. Uh, think about you know what what it could be you know and that might help. Sure. Hmm. You know, my invitation for Europe stands. You know, you yeah. Come over, have a vacation, and take yeah. time off. It really helps you to reflect and. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, I chose something different. I know. I know. And I'm very proud of you, what you did so yeah. far. It's, it's even exciting for me to see that happening, you know. Thanks. And I'm, I'm glad I'm here to see you. Yeah, I'm glad you're here too. It's been a long time.
How does somebody grow up in a family that has good work ethic and end up playing on the computer all day long, all night long? He'll stay up till four in the morning, which is probably why he sleeps till two. <coughs> He doesn't eat right. Sometimes he wears the same clothes for days. He doesn't see people. He talks to people on the computer. Those little characters have people behind them. And he talks to them. He thinks he has relationships with those people. You can't have relationships with people unless you see them eyeball to eyeball. I don't know what to do with him. He's the same age as you, and look what you're accomplishing. Well, uh, um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I think that's okay. I think, um, I, I, I don't think you can say who's accomplishing more, or, I, I, I mean, I... Is this it? Yeah, this is the Union, that's where you wanted to go, right? Mm -hmm. That's for you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for the red. Yeah, thank you. Have a good trip. I know you're from somewhere. Hmm. Lewis's mother. Lewis's mom. And you're Vogue. I'm, how you doing? I'm fine. How are you doing? Good. Cool to run into you. Well, it, it is. It is yeah. cool. I wasn't expecting to see you. This is a yeah. Pleasure. I'm just passing through. I was, how's Lewis doing? He's he's fine. He's he's graduated. Has a job. Um, I'm visiting his office tomorrow to check into what he's up to. What what are you doing here? I'm just uh, checking out checking out the city. Okay. I'm All checking right. out the city and uh, it's a very nice city. It is a very nice city. It is a very nice city. Is this Lewis live here? He he does. Um, he has an apartment in Shady Side. Oh what? Well. It's convenient to his job. Swank. Mm -hmm. Well, um, are, are you thinking about enrolling in the university? Uh. Just one of your options. No, no. I was just thinking then. I don't know. <laughs> I can't. I can't tell. You know, it's, it's the, the future lays open. You know, you have your. Lots of options to take. There's also your life, and you have to figure out, what, uh, you know, whether or not to take one or the other. That, 
Well, that, that's true. That's mm -hmm. true. Yeah, options and uh, lots of drugs. I'm a drug addict. You're a drug addict. <laughs> well, maybe they have a, no. a clinic here that you can look into. Yeah, I was looking for a psychologist. I found William James. But that's a good start. Yeah. A good start. It's not really. It's only a one-way conversation, really. <laughs> that's the problem with books. Right. Thank you. Right. I'm sorry I have to run. Right. I'm going to tell them I saw you, and I hope I see you again. Bye bye. Bye. No, no, I'm like, no, I'm feeling like this. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's like, definitely a problem with this kind of thing. Yeah, and I mean, I, I, I thought, it, you know, I, this is, was, it's something that occurred to me from the beginning, you know, like, um, you know, uh, you're not, you know, you're not going to, you, you're not saving anything. You're not, you're not trying to bring in a community of artists to this kind of non-artistic, right. poor community. Do you know what I mean? Like I, and I realized like I'm doing this, like when, when I first came here, I was, this is, I was like, this is for me. This is a completely selfish decision that I'm, I'm doing simply because like, there's available space. Right. And we can get it. Yeah. I mean, and, that's... And this is what I want. Like, and... and you, do you know what I mean? Totally. Wow. Yeah. Um, I feel like that's definitely, like, just... One of those weird... Like, I feel like it would be impossible to not feel that way. Uh -huh. Like, it's totally natural to feel that way. And I think that there is something kind of valid in, in feeling that doubt, because... Yeah it's super important to be aware of kind of the effect that you want to have versus the effect that might happen, like, or unintended consequences. And I feel like if you just came in here and you were like, uh, this is gonna change everything and it's gonna be amazing and, you know, didn't sort of, if you weren't as considered as you're being, it yeah. might have, it might be pretty disastrous. So, like, wait, I don't think you should feel, I think that you should feel what you're feeling because it's really important. Uh -huh. But I don't think that you should, like let that stop you from doing it because also this is really important. Yeah. I mean, it, I, I'm just realizing that like with, with, with the grant, with the money from a grant like this, we could, like we could do more, you know what I mean? And, and, and I, 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 I do feel a bit of I feel a bit in debt to the community, if that makes sense, to the to the immediate community. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, I'm here, and I and I wanna, I kind of wanna open my doors and be like, you know, I mean, I mean, believe me, I don't. I have confidence that I, I I'm, I'm realistic about the fact that like, that no one, no one in this neighborhood before was like, you know. Screaming for a community art space, like where is our community? Art, you know, <laughs> right. but but now that we are here and like so in the middle of it, I just part of me part of me wants to explore like what we could facilitate here by opening our doors and you know providing by way of materials or in, in instruction or yeah 
or just space, you know, what we, what we couldn't, what we couldn't offer. Right. And uh, I just, even, right. even just saying it makes, part of it makes me cringe because that's not what I, What? I don't know. Yeah, it's a really it's super like complicated thing to figure out. But I wouldn't. It is. It is really complicated. And it's almost probably impossible. Uh huh. So since it is impossible, don't feel too bad. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Yes, yeah. Come on in. Come on in. We're uh, we're the Craigslist guys. Okay. Well, here's a regenerator right here. Okay. And uh, as I told you, it, it it needs some brushes in it, and you probably that's, want to. That's great. That's fine. You probably want to um, had a carburetor rebuilt. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. Easy. But, but on the most part, you you know, I'm glad that somebody wanted. Uh, yeah. No. I mean, it looks it looks great. Okay. 5,250 watts, a lot of watts. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it'll it, it power up some stuff, it's just, you yeah. know. 100 light bulbs, <laughs> 20 blenders, yeah, at least yeah, 20. Something like, well, it actually told me about you can plug a refrigerator up to it. Uh, oh, well, uh, okay. Drills, you Do know. Do you have the cash, right? Yeah, just let me take it. Yeah. So. I don't know, we appreciate no, it. No, this, is, this is so great. Yeah, well, uh, I mean, I done got my use out of it. I got my money's worth out of it, so. That's for you. It's all right to, to pass on a good deal to other people, so. Yeah. Well, thank all you right. so much. We really appreciate it. All right, thank you gentlemen very much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Later. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah. Okay. You got it? Yep. Yeah.
that uh, one day they will uh -huh. take care of itself. Uh -huh. But uh, it sounds great because you're giving something to the community, and the reward gonna be great. But I know? mean, that's not that's not that's not totally clear to me yet. I don't. I think uh -huh. I think it's a little uh, premature to to say that I've given something to the community. I've, right now, I've just taken a building in the community. I've, yeah, but is, I've you, taken a, you're a, getting a, there. a space and and uh, it, it, I, it, yet to be determined if I've if I've you know given them you know something because I I see your point and I I think you're getting there because remember. All over the country, you have these community projects where people coming together, and and mm -hmm. it doesn't matter who is the instigator, who who really builds the project. But in the end, if the community finds something that's for them, yeah, the rewards are so overwhelming, and you're gonna be so happy. And in the future, you maybe say, "I want to build on this momentum because this really." takes me to a totally different level and I can uh -huh. uh, explore more on that part. Yeah. It's yeah. a fulfilling moment, I mean, it, you know? It could, it could be. I mean, I... <laughs> <laughs> so I did. I just bought it with the, with the lunch money that was like entrusted to me by my oh, father. Oh man, what'd you do for lunch? I don't know. I think we had like five bucks left, so I got her like a... <laughs> Panda Express. <laughs> no, I wish. <laughs> Because I had to eat too. Yeah. That sucks. Did your dad find out? Too. Yeah. Because I was, I was at home later watching it. And I don't know how the guy just instantly knew, like, oh, is that a new video? No. Yeah. I'm like, I felt awful. Because obviously as soon as I bought it, I knew it was the wrong thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's new. <laughs> I got it today. Did he get mad? Yeah. What did he do? It was worse than that. It was like a solemn disappointment. Oh man. That kid's a schmuck. <laughs> I gave him money for lunch, which I don't often do. <laughs> he ran out and didn't buy lunch, but something he doesn't need. <laughs> what my dad didn't understand was that I did need it. <laughs> I felt so bad. Like he didn't need to tell me that was the wrong thing to do. I was like, oh, I want to return it. Like, gosh, why did I? Oh, I'll try to return it. Oh. I still have it. That's good. Yeah, it's just as good as it was. <laughs> oh, it's so good. In 1999, the Spanish painter came over to study art at Pitt, and he painted a picture of the cathedral every other day or so for a couple years. And I like this one a lot because it's from what was Forbes Field, uh, which is now where Paws of Our Hall stands. And 50 years ago, in 1960, they actually uh, won the World Series. Bill Mazeroski hit a, hit a walk-off home run to win it. And so a just a couple weeks ago, we had all these people on our campus, 70 to 80-year-olds, people who had actually been to that game uh, to kind of relive the moment. So they camped out uh, just outside of Paws Bar Hall in right field where the home run had gone over and they listened to this recorded radio broadcast synced up with the time so at exactly like the 50 year date uh, the ball would go over right field and they'd all uh, you know be able to like stand up and cheer about it. So it was kind of cool. Uh, I actually had a test right next to Paws Bar Hall that day and right as I went to take the test at 245 is when the ball was scheduled to go over. So right as I picked up my pencil to take the test uh, you know, a bunch of old people kind of slowly got out of their seats and started cheering to, to sort of relive the moment.
You have, you have a nice nose. It's kind of big, but I like it. Well, it works. Isolation chamber? What were you saying? It's garbage. Nothing important. Um. Random question. Yeah? What do you think of my nose? Why? I think it's, I feel like it's cute, but it's a little big. Do you agree or disagree? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> you were in the isolation room. I was. And for some reason I could hear everything you were saying. Shut up. <laughs> What's the matter? That's terrible. Why? I'm so embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. Did I say anything really terrible? I liked everything you said. Mm. I feel special when you look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. We'll forget it. Yeah, let's forget it. Tell me what's going on here. <laughs> let's do the traffic report. Is that what we're doing, traffic? No, we play music. Rock and roll. Indie rock. Things like that. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that great, actually. Like, you have to play all this garbage, and I've been trying to convince them to let me play my interviews that I do, but they're not down at all. What interviews? Um, I interview, like, people from the city. Mm -hmm. Just, like, regular people. Mm -hmm. And I, like, mix it at home, too. That's... I'm not getting an idea of... Who do you... Um... What kind of people? Just what like, kind of regular people? Um, I, the most recent person I interviewed was a guy who is from the city originally and mm -hmm. left for a little while. Mm -hmm. Came back and is like starting a whole AV program at this really poor school district in this really poor st school district, this high school. He's like starting like a radio sh station and TV station and stuff like that. Cool. Yeah, it was really cool. He was really nice. Um. And... Seems to be doing good work. Do you want to interview me next? No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you can maybe I can maybe interview you if you have something interesting to say. Watch. Uh, it's uh, not. Okay. Uh, uh. Yeah, Sophia. I just I want to thank you for taking the time to talk to me about <laughs> what we've been doing, and I just I can't stress enough. The, you know, how important I think it is that we, that we're doing what we do in these uh, economically depressed neighborhoods, you know, and like, just really trying to facilitate change um, by making people more socially conscious, by making people more responsible consumers, by working together towards sustainability, which is really the bottom line. Um, you're welcome. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to interview you. What? Sorry, dude. That was hot stuff. No, that was boring stuff. I'm not, I'm not really... It's not my steez. Okay. I could do like a real one. Like I could get real with you. Yeah? What could you, what could you get real with me about? My life? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. What? Nothing. I'm sure you could. It's just not what I'm into right now. You're not into life? I'm not into your life. That kind of hurts my feelings. What's wrong with my life? Mm, nothing at all. I'm like not even trying to say that. I'm just saying like for what I'm trying to do right now, it's not exactly what I would want, who I would want. Who do you want to interview for what you're trying to do? I mean, you told me one. Like, just people Is from here. Type? There's like... Is that it? That I'm not from here? Yeah, like... It's really hard to explain. It's just like a feeling I get when I meet someone. They're like... Open. Can we talk in like... In like five years, will I be from here? <laughs> I don't know. It depends on how hard you live in those five <laughs> years. Okay. Well, I hope I don't lose your number. 
because when I'm done doing my time. What's this do? Um, I'm gonna push it and find out. Not yet. Wait like five seconds. Wait, for real? Yeah. Wait, when that gets to 50, press CD3 on. Okay, ready? One, two, three, press it. This one? Yeah. No, it's on. And then we can fade this up together, right? How far? Tell me how to stop. Top, all the way to the top. Okay, wait, stop now. What? Yeah. There you go, you just put a sign on the radio. That's really intense. <laughs> What did I play? Um, a John Phillips song. Oh. I'm just gonna blink at you. Yeah, Who is check that? It out. Oh, John Phillips, I love him. Classes or anything? No. Um, okay. Uh, um, is is the, is there? Uh, are you interested in a position in the art department? Um, or are you trying to reach well, someone? Kind of, I guess. Well, I, I guess uh, I I don't know if you know the the church down the street. Okay. Um, but I I own that okay. sort of. Um, and uh, we're turning into an art space, and we're hoping to sort of start a connection with uh, the school uh, in terms of arts education. Mm. Okay. Uh, Is there someone who would... The school itself, um, being that, you may want to speak with an administrator. Yeah, I guess I think, I think that'd be best. Mr. McGee. Um, I'm, sure, I'm sure he's you... pretty busy, but... I, Right, I can give you his number, or I can refer you to his office manager, where you can make an appointment yeah. to come in and see him. Yeah, that would be okay. that would be excellent. Um, her name is going to be Miss Shell, okay. Miss Sue Shell. Okay, I'll give you her direct number. At that time, she'll give you a call. I'll take your number and your name. She'll give you a call, set up an appointment, and come in and talk with Mr. McGee. Perfect. Okay.
this investment because there's a lot of uh, workforce there, you know, uh, a lot okay. of new capital coming up and stuff. Uh, and but then is it easier to get cross-border contracts or like... You're competing with other companies, you know, and yeah. if they know you're good and they know you, the, the history of your company and what you have achieved so far, they, they go for it, you know. Uh -huh. And if the price the price is right, you know, then it makes makes sense. Right. So this project right now is going to be done very soon. I have to go back and forth to Vienna because Vienna is the next project. Right. This time it's going to be no apartments but uh, office building. Okay. And Vienna is a big city and uh, nice people. Just a different crowd. It's supposed quiet. to be one of the nicest cities in Europe. I've heard. I yeah, mean. it's in a very old cultural city. You know, it's. Mm -hmm. Just the history of it is just amazing, and uh, yeah. it's actually a huge city for Austria because it's a small country. But uh, it's a whole different venue, and uh, it takes time in there too because you know it's always about finding the right people, right. make sure they're the ones you can work with, and they have the expertise. And every country is is new people too. Oh yeah. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. But the good thing is they all speak English. That's that's very amazing. Yeah. I just uh, only you yeah. spoke English, right? Yeah, <laughs> 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 it helps. <laughs> it really helps. And then uh, you know, I just talked recently to my my old friend from California. He's doing the same stuff I do, and mm -hmm. he told me that he has his family involved, his wife and his son, doing uh, business mm -hmm. with him, and they're really doing doing fine. You know, it looks like they're working very good together. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, family business, you yeah. know. Yeah, well, the sons must really love their father. Yeah, they do. <laughs> what, what's that like? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, we shall see. <laughs> but you know, on the work, why on the construction side when you work, you know, people are becoming somehow your friends too, you know. Mm. Once they really know you and you know them and they work with you every day, it's amazing how many invitations you get for them from them, you know, go to their house and have dinner with them and talk to their wives and stuff, but I have no time. I'm just mm. very busy and enough on the construction side, uh, seeing these people and talking to them and choking with them, that's enough for me already, you know. Mm. So it, it takes time, but I'm glad where we are right now. I'm glad I'm here a little bit. Good. Thank you. <coughs> so then, 
you were in Germany, and is that you That's, were you born? Yeah, I was born in Germany. Okay. Like, a couple of months after they came there. Kako smo došli u Njemačku i... A u Njemačku smo došli, kaže onaj, uspjeli smo da vjavljamo jedna žena, kad smo, kad su mene kažu fatili, tukli i kad su me pustili taj dan kući, onda mi jedna žena javila
fucking mad shit before I went out. <laughs> Not worried about you. I wouldn't be. I'd be. Come on. He's on roof seat. Yeah, that's true. Then it's fine to be that way. Come down. Get off the roof. Just come down. No one's mad at you. No one's mad at you. Just come down. I mean... And I mean, you can do you can do an iPod playlist if you like, but I'm happy to DJ. For real. Do you want to DJ? Yeah, I think I'll do like a, um, a sort of post dubstep slash witch house slash like proto house <laughs> ghetto tech. Yeah, uh, I could do a playlist. No, no, I want to do that. <laughs> I really want to see that set come together. Okay. So. Just uh, just keep it relatively dank. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> That's not what I was going to I was going to say normal, but dank. Yeah, yeah. Um that'll be fun. Have you heard anything from uh Sophia about whether she's coming? I don't know. What's funny about that? She's your friend. Uh, well, lately she's your friend, so. Uh, That's what I thought too, but I told her about this. I mean, I'll, yeah, I'll text her. I'll, and I haven't heard back. I'll ask her if she'd like to drop by, maybe. Yeah. We'd Thank love you. to. We'd love to see you. That's what I'll say. I mean, it can be from just you okay. too. Okay. I don't need you to. Huh. I'll handle it. I'll handle it. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Good. Yeah, well, is this guy gonna like sleep all day? If he wants, you should let him. Yeah, he should give me a fucking sandwich. Some Yo, man. dude. Get me a sandwich, man. <laughs> You're trying to wake him up. <laughs> Just chill. You didn't offer him a bed, like. He was out before I could. You want me to wake him up in order to? No, 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 it's fine. He's good, man. Yeah, he's good. Um, are we gonna have to use the same little like eighth inch plug-in like speakers to your no. computer? No man. I mean, I'll. I'll get my friend. I can. They were I okay, but the, my I friend think there's going to be more people. No, my friend has a PA. I can. I already texted him. He'll, he's going to loan us his PA. So. Do you think it's going to get garbled in here, or do you think it's going to be awesome? And I mean, it'll, it'll probably get a little garbled, but that's okay. People won't care. Like. I'm going to care. No, it sounds great. I mean, that sounds really oh, good. Shit. <laughs> My bad, man. <laughs> it's all good. Good morning. Good morning, sweetheart. <laughs> you haven't even met it. <laughs> None in this jig. <sighs> Jay! Hey man. How you doing? I'm good. Welcome. Welcome to me. I'm oh, really tired. Yeah, Sorry, I'm long out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a minute. It's a struggle. This place is cold. I just like you're a little coming to us, you know. Yeah, this Sorry, dude. dude. This dude's complaining already. No complaining. No complaining. I'm very grateful. Thank you. How much are you paying to be here? Uh, we'll reduce the rate from uh, zero to uh <laughs> 